So now that's a bit the boring task. What we should do now is the following. Mm, yeah, we should move this into mesh. Create a new folder, mesh. We want to clean it up a little bit because now we need to work on the IK rig. And we can move this here. And as usual, I try to show every step so that you don't hopefully get not lost during the process. And yeah, this might take some time as the stuff is quite large. We do a right click and fix up redirectors and folder. So now we can go on. We create a new folder and say rigs. Do a right click and we say animation IK rig. And we want to work with the SWAT guy. So search for SWAT guy and we say IK underscore SWAT guy. So save everything. So what we need is the following. We need to create a, let me check, a full body IK solver. Mm, and we need to add the settings for the solver. For that, I'm always using the third person example. And we go to, sorry, we go to characters, mannequin UE4, rigs, and here we have IK UE4 mannequin. You can get this one if you don't have it. If you click here, go to import content. No, not import content. It's why it's not there. Wait, let me. No, we want to add content. Sorry, <laughs> I'm always confused because there are two pluses. It's here. You go here, add feature or content pack, and then you click here on third person and it will be added to your project. And then you will also have the IK rigs. So we open this one. Oh, we already have this open. So we move this to the left. So the pelvis is the hips. We say add settings to selected bone. And we add everything until spine three. And spine three, I have a list how the map how the bone mapping is. We might need this one from time to time. Let me quickly share this here as well. Mm. Wait, bone list. Wait, I need to open it. Give me a second. Bone list. Sorry, I'm not prepared well. On list maximum. So that should be the text file. <laughs> Why does it take so long? So let me move this here to the other screen. So here we will have this mapping. So and spine one is spine, spine underscore O2 is spine one, spine underscore O3 is spine two. So I will share this list in the comments below. And yeah, let me add. So every time we do add selected, add settings to selected bone, add setting to selected bone, add setting. I need to write a script here because I'm always bored of this task. So the clavicle, clavicle is left shoulder. That's this bone here. So we add settings to selected bone, and mm, it's the lower arm. Lower arm is, is right forearm, so left forearm, it's this one here. So also add your settings. Mm. So let me check. Yep, that's fine. And we have here this left hand and we do right click here, say new IK goal. And we copy this name because then we can reuse the chain I have already set up for you. And you can just reuse the names. So how I pick set them up for us. Then we have here the right shoulder. We do again right click add settings to select the bone. And we here do right click again add settings to select the bone. That was the right forearm. That's basically the uh, lower arm here. So then we have the right hand. We do also right click new IK goal. We copy this name here. Control C double click or press F2 
here on the on the right side please press f2 control v enter so so almost done now we need to move on with the other bones so the sig left is called let me check in the list that's the right up leg so it's the left up leg so here add settings to select the bone the calf bone that's the left leg so yep add settings to select the bone and for the foot let me check what the foot foot bone is the foot bone oh no it's the ball bone sorry the ball bone ball bone is the toe base so here we have left toe base we do add new rk ball and we also copy this name here control c so confusing <laughs> why does it not accept this one ah because of this one let me check if this works in the next one so here add settings to select the bone <laughs> you see we are doing the same steps all the time it's quite boring but that's what we have to do so and uh, here we have the toe base we do new ik goal we copy this name here from the left side to the right side and you what you need to do is click here then click here and then you can press f2 so and it's the right foot goal so now the solver tells us missing root bone yes we did not set one and the root bone for this one here is you can check this here if you click here and then it says here root bone and here pelvis is in the maximum skeleton the hip bone so we do here right click and set root bone on selected solver and then you will see it tries to yeah um, retarget all those bones as they are getting white and let me quickly check some more we also need to do here right click and say set retarget root because here you also have to retarget root so and now we don't want to import stuff so basically it's already set up and we can close this one quickly and do some magic again with tt toolbox so here we go to rigs and save everything and do a right click scripted asset actions character tools add ik chains from data table and there you can search for ik bone i guess ik bone chains and here we also have some maximo prepared so use this one and as you see it modifies the ik rig and we can open it and magically you have the correct the correct bone chains and what you should check if the tooling is working correctly here is left arm should be should use left arm to left hand and then hand l goal same for the right hand for the right arm and same for the right leg and left leg here you should see two goals so we can save it again and then we will work on the settings so as you might have noticed if i click here and here again we can set the solver settings and here you see rotation stiffness is to one which we will also set to one because that's the default settings and they work quite fine in my case so then we go to spino one spino one has a setting here just copy this over Control c Control v and this one copy this also over so this is here is spine one rotation stiffness so yeah the same value here and now we go on with the shoulder bones so here we see also rotation stiffness is set to one set it to one as well here we see some preferred angles we might have to rework them but let's see if it works so we are just using the same settings here so nine zero rotation stiffness here is zero that was not changed oh did i did i do something wrong lower arm lower arm is right is forearm yeah that's oh i forgot here a setting sorry guys i forgot here a setting no it's there but 
cannot be seen. <laughs> Strange. Oh no, that's this one. There is this icon missing. Strange. <laughs> Seems to be a bug. That's interesting. So that's why I was confused. Nine zero. Let me check the clavicle bone again and here the left shoulder bone. So here we are using the default settings and on the left we are using one here. So I hack all settings. Mm. So here's the pull chain is zero. Everything seems to be fine. That's only for visualization. And we go on with the right shoulder. So here we have also rotation stiffness for one. Lower arm. That's this one here. Nine O. The rest is the default. The right hand goal. So here's also the right hand goal. We set this pull chain to zero. I'm just using the same settings because they worked before. If you want to dive deeper into those settings, you should read the documentation. I did not do it so far. Only a few times if I really had to and stuff did not work as expected. So how about the foot IK goal? So here we have the default settings. So we move on with those settings here. And we use preferred angles here, minus 90. So let me quickly check if I did something wrong. That's 90. That's minus 90. So maybe I did something wrong. Yes, I did. Sorry, guys. So this is 90. That's fine. And this is also 90. So here, preferred angles, 9, 0. And here we have the default settings. So, and if you look closer to the change I have set up here, or the chains I have set up here, you might not see any IK bones, right? And you might wondering, what is he doing? He do he's doing it so wrong. And I need to say, no, I'm not doing it wrong. I'm doing it correctly. You will see that if I make this to full screen and this one to the right, and if I move this one up, you will see IK bones are not following. And if you reset the pulse and save everything again, we can introduce a new solver. And we say constrain bones. It's very important that you set this one here after the full body IK because it's basically solved in a stack. What is mentioned here, solver stack. At first this solver runs and then this solver. So basically we are calculating this pulse here from this arm or hand. And then we constrain these bones to this location and transformation basically. So let me reset it. And here it says already constrained bones missing constrained bones. So yeah, you need to set them up here, right? And what you can do if you don't have the values for that, you can quickly get them from TT Toolbox. If you go to TT Toolbox content, if you don't see this one, it might happen that you have not checked this one show plugin content you need to check this one then the filter will be uh, disabled and you will see this data folder here and if we go to full screen let me move this here and also move this here let me go to full screen and let me open this one it's dt underscore constraint bone and there we have something that is called let me make this bigger constrain all bones maximo search for something all bones and maximo that will be the right one do a right click and then copy it so and normally what you could do is yeah paste it into the list but that will not work because of the following somehow i don't know why unreal engine decides to introduce a hash value here this one and you will not be able to reuse it so what i do most of the time is use not plus 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 here, press Ctrl H to open the window with the replace. And then you see here, it's already prepared for me. I just clicked on replace all 
And the same for modified bond, as you see, there is also a hash, control H again, and we search for modified bond and replace everything. And then do control, press control A, control C to copy to the clipboard again. And then we move on to this SWAT guy. And what we can do now is at first we need to get the window output lock because here you will see error. So we just clean this one up and move it here. And then later check if you have some issues. Right click, paste. Oh. <laughs> right click, paste. And check for error. So there's no error. And I think what we need to do is maybe close it or check it if it works already. No, it does not work. So somehow this gets not updated correctly. So we close it and we go back again to the IK SWAT guy. And now we should see the goal, which moves our bone C. It also moves the foot bone here. As you see, IK bones now are constrained correctly and you will also have constrained bones after animation retargeting. That's why I use this solver. That's also from TT Toolbox. It's a custom one, but it's very helpful because normally you might see messed up IK bones and they are not constrained anymore after retargeting. So yeah, let me reset this one and save everything. And I'm pretty sure that we got all, all all, all things right and we can go on to the next session. See you in the next one.